Hello friends, I am Rajini Sharchandran. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in this particular video, we are going to discuss the projection of 9 different points in space. As I explained in the previous video, I have, ex I have given you the concepts regarding how to project points in space. With the help of this video, surely you will understand how to draw the projections of points in space. So, we can go to the problem. The problem you can see in your screen right now and also the problem is given in the description of this video. Now we are moving to the problem. The problem is project the following points in a common reference line. The problem you can see in your screen right now as well as in the description of this video. The first problem is the point A is 20 mm above HP and 25 mm in front of BP. See, I have already told the first thing we have to do is once, once we obtain the question, we have to represent this question with the help of symbols. See, the question is the point A is 20 mm above HP. We know that eh? this is the point A. Point A is 20 mm above HP. See, this is the method of representing above HP. So, the point A is 20 mm above HP and 25 mm in front of me. So, I hope all of you have understood how to represent a point actual position with the help of symbols. So, this is the point A, 20 mm above HP, 25 mm in front of me. So, we have to draw the projection. We can draw the projection in a common reference line. Common reference line means for all the questions we can use the, uh, the same reference line. So, the point A is 20 mm above, 25 mm in front of. So, 20 mm above HP. How can we look at above HP? Above HP means if this is HP, above HP means, above HP means always above the XY line, right? In front of VP means, in front of VP means always below XY line. That we have a land area. So, above HP, 20 mm, above the XY line, locate this point, above HP, above HP, HP means the front view, HP means front view, so it will be a dash. In front of VP, 25 in front of VP, 25 below the XY line, I name it as A. See, this is the projection, this is the projection of the point A given in this question. Remember, only these two points should be darker. All the other things are construction lines. This projector line means it is a construction line. That should be drawn with the 2H pencil. And only the point A dash and A. These two points should be dark. And make sure you mark this dimensions. This is 20 and this is 25. So, see this is the basic thing and once you understood the point above, above HP and in front of VP, all the other things can be drawn very easy. So, above HP, above XY line, above HP, it is HP, so it is A dash, in front of VP, in front of VP means below the XY line, in front of VP, VP, so it is A, top view, so it is A. Now, the second question is, the point B is 30 mm above HP and 35 mm behind VP. So, 30 mm above HP, 35 mm behind VP. See, this is the representation of a point above and behind. So, how can we mark this point? Point B is 30 above HP. Above HP means above the XY line. So, you don't know above the xy line at a distance of 30 and name that point as b dash above hp so it is b dash now it is behind vp it is behind vp 35 mm behind vp if it is in front of vp we will draw below the xy line and mark it as b since it is behind vp we will take the we will use the opposite direction that means if it is in front of vp below the xy line and b 
here it is behind the VP. Behind VP means just the opposite to in front of. So this is behind the VP means uh, 35 mm above the XY line and mark it as B because it is in front of V. Behind VP it is a distance related with the VP. It is top view. So 35 mm above the XY line and name it as B. So mark this dimension as 30 and this dimension as 35. See this is the representation of the dimension. Use at least 1 centimeter this distance. So the appearance will be nice. So this is point A. And this is the point B. Now the next question is. Point C is 40 mm below HP and 32 mm behind the VP. The point C is 40 mm below HP. Point C is 40 mm below HP. Point C is 40 mm below HP and 32 mm behind the VP. 32 mm behind the VP. Is it clear? The point C is 40 mm below HP and 32 mm behind the VP. Now, point C is below HP. If it was above HP, we will draw above the XY line and mark it as C dash. But since it is below HP, we have to draw below the XY line and mark it as C dash. Simple. So, from the XY line, at a distance of 40 mm or 4 cm, locate the point and name it as C dash. Similarly, the point C is 32 mm behind. If it was 32 mm in front of, we will draw below the XY line. Since it is behind, we have to draw above the XY line and name it as C. So, at the height of 32, I name it as C dash. Sorry, C. Now, take this distance, mark this distance as 32, and mark this distance as. I hope all of you can understand. Easy, right? Then, the fourth question is: Point D is 34 mm below it. Point D is 34 mm below HP and 45 mm in front of VP. And 45 mm in front of VP. And 45 mm in front of VP. So, point D is 34 below. 34 below means uh, below the XY line, name it as D dash. 45 in front of. In front of means uh, below the XY line, I name it as D. So, that will be 45. So that will be D. So this distance will be 34. And this distance will be 40. 44. So I hope all of you have understood the four questions. Now we are moving to the next question. Point E is on HP. Point E is on HP and 50 mm in front of me. And 50 mm in front of me. Now actually, what is a point on HP? Point on HP means this is a point on HP. All the points on this plane will be on HP. Oh, and 50 mm in front of. See, if this is 50 distance, this distance is 50. This was this will be the point. This will be the point. See, here this distance is 50 and on HP. Remember, while drawing this question, do not think about the physical position of the point. That will be difficult to do the problem. What you have to do is, you have to understand the physical position of the point for this one. That means above HP in front of you. How that point is obtained? Above HP means that will be here. In front of VP means that will be here. Rotate it. So this will be the position. This thing you have to understand physically as well as the working method. Once you know the working method, then all the questions can be done by changing the distance, changing the direction of the distances measured. Direction of the distances for uh, measuring below behind like that that is the working method for the for obtaining the projections of points now what i want to say is the point e is on hp 
and 15 front of right. Now, representing a point on VP or for on HP means like this. See, a dot is there. So, point is on that can be on HP or on VP. But by looking this thing, this we can clearly understood that this is 50 mm in front of VP. So, this will be on HP. So, the point is on HP and 50 mm in front of VP. So, that can be represented as Point is on HP. On HP means the distances from HP. Above HP will be 0. So the point on HP means a point will be on the XY line. Since it is E, this will be E dash. 15 in front of. 15 in front of means this distance will be E. And this distance will be 50. So this is. the projection of the point E. Now the next question is the point F is on HP and 40 mm behind VP. 40 mm behind VP. See point is on HP so this will be F dash and 40 mm behind VP. 40 mm in front of VP will be below XY line. So 40 mm behind VP means above XY line and this distance will be 40 mm. As there is a space is not enough. I am not marking the dimensions in this question. F, G, and H. You have to mark the dimensions. Now, the next question is the point G is on VP and 24 mm above HP. The point G is on VP and 24 mm above HP. See, point G is on VP. So, on VP. So, that point will be at X, Y, and On VP. On the top, you can see that this point is at zero distance from VP. So, it will be on the XY line and 24 above. So, 24 above the XY line and mark this as G dash. Now, the point H is on VP and 36 mm below HP. Point H is on VP. So, this will be H and 36 mm below HP. So, this will be 36 and this point will be x dash. I hope all of you have understood. This is very easy. And the last question is the point I is on HP and on VP. What is the point on HP and VP? Point on HP and VP means the point will be lying on the reference line. That will be lying on the reference line. A point is lying on both HP and VP means uh, this will be the point. Point on the reference line. That means uh, both the positions, front view and the top view will be on the x y line. So, this will be the position of I as well as I dash. So I hope all of you have understood the concept of the projection of points. I will repeat. The only thing you have to buy heart is above HP, the point, if the point is above HP, mark above the XY line and mark it as A dash. If the point is in front of VP, Mark that point below the x-ray line and mark name it as A. And all the other things you have to do the reverse. Thing. So if the distance is from HP, it will be A dash. If the distance is elevation, it is A dash. If the distance is front view, it is A dash. If the distance is top view or plan or from VP, it will be represented with a, it has to represent it with a A. Above HP, above the XY line, A dash. In front of VP, below the XY line, A. So, if you understood this 8 questions or 8 different positions, then easily you can mark any point in space. Or you can project any point in space. And also, you have to remember the method of representing a point in space. Like this. So I hope all of you have understood how to project points in space. In the next video, we will be discussing the projection of lines. So thank you all for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe this video if you like my presentation.